Hi, this is Doug, and um, I'm going to show you a little bit about what I am working on for this project that Katie and I are doing. We're doing, at this point, uh, some of you probably already know, we're doing a little Blade Runner short, and the script calls for the Blade Runner blaster. And so what I did is I went ahead and I bought the clear plastic Blade Runner squirt gun because it's even though it's expensive because you have to import it from Japan, it's the least expensive way to get into a really good, accurate version of the Blade Runner blaster. And so what I did is I got it and it was, you know, light as a feather. It's just, you know, it's empty plastic and it's really cheap plastic too. It's the really thin uh, plastic that they make squirt guns out of. So <clears throat> what I decided to do is I decided to fill it with resin and I don't know if you can see the line there right there you can see the line of resin I left a little empty space up here so that when you look down the barrel you don't just see resin there so anyway so I filled the whole thing with resin there there are two pieces here it's funny the only part that actually holds water is the handle here and these two spaces this and the handle are not really connected so I mixed up resin and filled the the whole top part of the gun first, and then once that dried, then I opened up, you know, where you would normally put the water in, and I filled the handle with resin too. So <clears throat> today is the first day. It's been warm enough outside and dry enough. It's been raining here in, in Phoenix for the, since Christmas. Uh, it's been warm enough and dry enough that I thought, okay, I can go out and get my my um, my base spray on here. I'm gonna spray a black primer on it uh, before I start adding the color. So I go outside and I'm hooking this up to a uh, to a string uh, suspended so that I can spray this. Well apparently my string had rotted over time and I didn't realize it and it snapped and as you can see, maybe you can or can't see, right there it chipped the handle and a little spot right up here. So while I thought that I was going to be painting today, I'm actually not going to be painting because I've got to run over to Michael's or Hobby Lobby or someplace like that and get some filler putty to fill in this damage on these spots. Let that dry and then I can go ahead and spray paint, which probably won't be such a bad thing because um, it's going to get warmer over the next couple of days and the spray paint will probably stick. It was 66 today, which is, you know, that's fine. Um, but the warmer it is, the better the spray paint will stick and the, um, the better coverage you get. You won't get that orange peel effect and it'll also dry faster. So anyway, this is what I'm working on. A uh, little setback today, but nothing that's irreparable and uh, we'll get it back on the road and hopefully have this done by the end of the week.